Hello everyone, Arctic here providing product review for the Astro A40 audio system. Uh, this is the BXR Military Green Edition. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about the headset, mix amp, pros and cons of the headset as well as the uh, who should buy this particular headphone. Uh, what's in the box? Obviously the headphones, mix amp, boom mic, the uh, audio in from mix amp to your controller, the mini USB to USB uh, power supply, you can see that there, and the red and white AV cable uh, that goes from your mix amp to your uh, 360. There's also PC uh, mic and sound uh, cables available as well. Uh, so the actual headset itself, uh, one of the things that I really enjoy about uh, Astro Gaming is their customized uh, custom customization op options. Uh, the uh, Astro tags, you can uh, send in, submit your own design. Uh, these ones actually come with uh, a particular design uh, for the headphones, but you can switch them out. These are actually our logo with the MLG uh, emblem underneath. We got these because of a Major League Gaming event. Uh, <clears throat> you can switch the boom mic from one ear to the other ear if you wished. Really cool. And there, as, as I said, there's also different editions. So uh, these are the military green, there is blue, red, there's uh, white and black, which are the MLG and standard Astro editions. There's also Penny Arcade and Metal Gear Solid editions as well. So uh, lots of customization options with Astro. Um, design, overall design of the headset, obviously these are uh, <clears throat> kind of open ear because you can take them off so when you're playing you can kind of hear uh, a lot more sound around you than normal uh, but the cushioning is very soft uh, there's also a headband cushion on the top side <clears throat> and uh, it's pretty comfortable on your head overall you can adjust the uh, size pretty much fits anyone even if you have a big head uh, you can wear them for quite a while without uh, it feeling uncomfortable. I usually wear mine for a few hours and there's no problems. <clears throat> the sound quality, again, I'm not a big audiophile, so uh, I'm not too keen on um, uh, the frequencies and, and uh, uh, megahertz and all that stuff for the sound. Um, what I like about the Astros is if I'm playing a shooter, I can distinguish the sound quality uh, um, and how close they are, where they're positioned, if they're on wood, if they're on metal, if they're in water. Um, it's very good at distinguishing surface sound, uh, which is something I look for for shooters. If you're a casual guy, um, again, they have Sur Dolby Surround Sound 5.1, so it's, it's good for that. If you're an audiophile guy, there's some PC headphones that are a little bit better than uh, the Astros in terms of bass quality and, and overall sound quality. <clears throat> but again, these are very, very good. Durability, I haven't had too many problems with them. Uh, the headset itself, uh, there's been a few issues that I've noticed with the screws uh, here on the DJ style turn uh, uh, headphone piece and there's also, I've seen uh, this piece pop out a few times but it easily pops back in uh, but again I've had uh, my other 2008 uh, MLG editions for two years and there's no problem with these either so they're they're very durable the mix amp itself is uh, very sleek clean design uh, <clears throat> there's really not too many other um, mix amps that are not uh, as sleek as this. Obviously the Triton uh, mix amp is a lot bulkier. Uh, there, there's a lot more cables um, and the way they input the controller it can bend. But uh, overall it's pretty good. 
at, on the top side you have the red and white uh, inputs, uh, coaxial, this is the mini USB that goes to your USB, the PC mic, MP3, optic. Bottom side you have the uh, butterfly effect. Um, if you're on land you can butterfly two Astro head uh, mix amps together. There's also the headset piece here um, that you put in and the controller uh, for the mic um, for Xbox Live. So for an example for the butterfly effect here's two mix amps. You have a networked mix amp uh, in line so if you're at an event and uh, you want to butterfly your headphones uh, you can if you have Astros or whatever else whatever other headphones would, would go into this mix amp. So it's a really cool feature that they have with the butterfly on the Astros. Durability of this I've really had no problems. Uh, I've seen a few issues with some of the inputs for the mic. Uh, maybe something gets loose but I, I have again I have two of these uh, mix amps. My brother has one. Stylus has one. Haven't had any issues with the, the actual piece malfunctioning. Uh, on the back side this part comes unscrewed. You can put uh, batteries in it. It takes AA or you can put in a rechargeable battery pack. Uh, so it's pretty cool. Uh, pros and cons. Obviously I love that this uh, the overall uh, customization options that Astro allows um, it goes with the PS3, Xbox 360, and in uh, PC, so that's a plus. Uh, also, the LAN option, the ability to take two uh, mix amps, link them together, is really cool if you are a competitive gamer looking to go to uh, big time events. Sound quality is is superb for console headphones. There's not too many headphones that are better than this out on the market. These are very very good. Um, and I enjoy them. Uh, there's, there's also uh, um, their customer service is very good, uh, uh, which kind of leads me into the negatives. I've had a lot of problems with uh, some of the pieces that go with the headset, in particular uh, the piece that goes from your mix amp. Uh, to your controller here. I've had a lot of problems with this piece going bad connecting it to your controller so sometimes you will get issues uh, being able to hear your friends or vice versa, well not hear your friends but your friends hearing you um, just because of this cord going bad. Uh, I know a lot of people that have had this replaced repeatedly multiple times so they have an issue with creating a, a decent working functioning lasting uh, mic uh, to mix amp piece or controller to mix amp piece. So that's probably the biggest issue. Uh, there's also been a few issues that I've had with the uh, connection from the dis quick disconnect. So sometimes this end goes bad, sometimes this end goes bad. Not sure what's going on with Astro there, but there are issues with uh, the wiring. <clears throat> So that's one thing to look out for if you're going to drop 200, uh, 200 on the headphones or 250 on the whole audio system in itself. Uh, again, so that, that's one of the big, big uh, cons with uh, negatives with the Astro A40 headphones. Who is this for? Uh, I feel like this is for the competitive gamer. If you're looking to get an edge uh, at, uh, at events or in shooters, mainly like Call of Duty, Gears of War, Halo, those type of things. The Astros are the hands down the best headphone uh, out there. If you're a casual guy and you have a casual gamer and you have some disposable income, these are a, a great purchase. Uh, <clears throat> if you're a PC guy, audiophile, and you want the built-in mic function, uh, these will be a good choice. Although sound quality, you could find some better PC headphones out there. Um, who is this not for? It's not for the PC competitive gamer and this is not for someone that wants to spend uh, quite a bit of money. So uh, if you're looking for uh, getting the most bang for your buck, I think these would be pretty good. If you're looking for something a little bit conser more conservative, you might want to go with the A30s which just, just released 
or uh, maybe Turtle Beach or Tritons. So this is Arctic uh, on this review of the Astro A40 headsets. Hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe. Get some more reviews. Later, guys.